Oh, you know you're ready. Go. <laughs> Go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Broken to Beautifully Blended. In the hot seat this time, Thomas. Say hello to the people. Hello. To the people. To the people. <laughs> so Thomas has the fortunate or unfortunate joy, however you want to look at it, of being the only boy in the house. Almost a man, not quite a man, but a boy. Still, right? You're going to be 15 tomorrow. 15 tomorrow. Tomorrow. Try to contain your excitement. <laughs> I don't know what to do. No, don't no. put your feet up there. It'll be Thomas is very home. nervous, just to be clear. So, Thomas, tell the people something that you don't know about yourself. Yes. How is that possible? <laughs> well, it's a bit of a joke. Just to be clear. That was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on a more serious note, tell tell everybody what your favorite hobbies are. I guess like football and watching stupid videos. Watching like fail videos or just morons in general? Both. <laughs> what is your favorite video on YouTube right now? Um, I don't have one. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure you probably do. Do you not have one because we're taking YouTube off of your phone? No. There's other ways I can watch YouTube. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Off their phone. Off their phone. Yeah. <laughs> or a computer. So what is your favorite what is your favorite fail group? Is like Fail mm. Army or something else? Fail Army. Fail Army is pretty funny. I'll give you that. I can watch theirs every so often. But we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about family. Isn't that exciting, Thomas? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thomas has the perk of being the only kid in the house that has their own room. That is true. You don't have to share with anybody. Being the only boy has some perks, right? Yeah. No hand-me-down clothes. Well, your you clothes know, look like hand-me-downs. I'm just going to say this, friend. This is an audio as well, so people can't hear your head rattle. They can see my head rattle. But whenever we do some, audio, some of audio they, too. they can't see it. Oh. So okay. somebody might be listening to this while they're out jogging. Why would they be doing that? Well, because jogging is good for you. Why would they be listening to this while they're well, jogging? Why wouldn't they? People listen to all kinds of stuff while they're exercising. Maybe they should listen to something more upbeat. Like you what? You can be upbeat, right? Are you gonna? Why don't you give us a little beatbox or something? A little rap. A little South Side Perkins. <laughs> We're on the North Side of Perkins. Oh, sorry, North Side of Perkins. Did you take geography? <laughs> I failed. I have a great story about geography. <laughs> it really doesn't have anything to do with Thomas, per se. But when Jaden went into, what grade was that? Seventh grade? Seventh, yeah. Seventh grade, she had a teacher <laughs> that I went into his class. It was a geography class, and he said, I said, what are you teaching <laughs> here? And he goes, geography. And I go, oh, that's... I study them shapes and angles and stuff. And he's like, uh, no, that's geometry. And I go, oh, sorry, I got it messed up. This must be the study of rocks and formations underneath the earth. And he goes, uh, no, that's geology. And I said, what is it that you teach? <laughs> so Jaden was embarrassed. And I think that teacher still thinks I'm not fully there. So Sadie has to make her appearance. Hello, Sadie. Everybody say hi to Sadie. This now. is the tiny grizzly bear. Now go away, lay down. Go lay down. kind of looks like a grizzly bear. Lay down. So, talking about family, Thomas. Do you remember life before Mom and I got married? Yeah, a little you, bit. A little bit? What do you remember about it? I remember one time there was a huge spider in the house, 
And mom ran into oh. the kitchen and made Papa come kill it. Yeah. That's pretty much the only thing That's I remember. The only it was thing. it was not we weren't we were in the car. We would not get out of the car. Because whenever we pulled into the driveway, there was a tarantula on the driveway. And I left, and we went to the shop, and we came back with Papa. And Papa was looking for it. He couldn't find it. And so then we went in through the garage. And whenever I opened up the door to the front porch, I went to step out, and Papa said, shut the door and whenever i shut the door the little legs curled around the door and so he ended up killing it but he he said i have never seen a spider that big in oklahoma it was so big and then he goes that thing looked like it had huge teeth we should have a campfire so stories around the campfire we'll, stories we'll remember the campfire. that for next time yeah Okay, so that's that's what you remember of life before we got married. Really. It's interesting. You don't remember anything else, like uh, where you lived or anything? It. Yeah. I remember throwing up in my Nana's lap, too. Oh. <laughs> Did you do that? Tell me about that. I just looked up at her and smiled and then threw up all over her. <laughs> <laughs> and then she said, come get him! Yeah? Because it was all over her. Very... Interesting memories you have. Hmm. What's the street that Josh's nanny and Papa lives on? I don't know. We lived in a house on that road, didn't we? No. We lived over at, on Howard Street. Hmm. Howard Street. Named after Howard, I guess. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> All right, so when we got married... Uh, you guys came and lived here, and tell me what you remember about those early years. Basically, all I remember is taking pictures in OSU by the little pond. Oh, yeah. I remember those pictures. When all the girls had their, what was it, rainbow pastel tank tops. I remember falling into the duck pond, too. You've fallen into about every oh, body of water goodness. that we're near. Every single one. So yeah. let's let's make sure we're clear. So you fell into Theta Pond at OSU one day mm -hmm. while you were at work with me, right? Yeah. We went to a dance competition at Rose. Yeah, I remember that and one. And you fell into that <laughs> uh, fountain out front. And then I'm pretty sure you fell into Theta Pond again. No. No? I only fell into it once. So where'd you fall into it? You fell into water another there time. Was, there was a gate. And then, like, there was a fence in the water, and I was reaching out to touch the ducks, and I fell into the water. No, no, a uh, doe jumped over the bushes. Oh, yeah. The, and then they all ran to see it. In the and middle I, of still water. And then I fell in. Oh, Reagan's over there going, it happened. <laughs> Ignore them. Ignore them. But for a while there, it seemed like we couldn't go anywhere without you falling into the water. I'm pretty sure you jumped. What is falling? I think, I, I think you jumped. I think you did it on purpose. We just got back from the river today where you spent the entire afternoon yesterday laying in the water. For like an hour and a half or two hours after we got back from the float, you were like laying in the water. So yeah. don't tell me that you don't like to swim. I do. I love to swim. Yeah? That's why my toes are webbed. Your toes are webbed? Your toes are no. not webbed. Interesting. I would have never known that about you. So, otherwise, so you remember taking pictures at OSU. Do you remember what life was like? I mean, was it... Uh, calm and serene or was it a little more rocky what what do you remember about personality wise do you, do you recall any of it not really really okay i'm just gonna say this open up that box because you know you're a boy and you put things in boxes go in find that box open it up i don't know what she's talking about 
Talking about the boys' brains with the boxes. Filing cabinet? Oh, do you have a filing cabinet? No. Huh. I don't have anything up there. Yes, you do. Okay, so if you don't remember that, would you would you say that over the last couple of years, life has been different here than it was in the beginning? What does that mean? Well, how how do you see things around here now? I mean, do, do you would this be what you would call a normal family? No. No. <laughs> Why not? Um, because there's a lot of people here. There is a lot of people here. That's true. Interesting. Okay. So we'll ask this. So out of all of the kids that live here, so there's Jaden, Reagan, Lauren, Allison, and Thomas, right? You're the only one that really has a lot of interaction with your other parent, your biological dad. What is, what is that like? Do you find that to be hard to go back and forth? Sometimes. Sometimes. What makes that hard? Mm. Like not seeing one as much as the other. Yeah. Do you think that that has made it more difficult or less difficult for you? More difficult. Yeah. What do you think, Mom? What do you, how do you how do you deal with that? How do I deal with him going back and forth? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that it is a definitely from the parent standpoint, you have to put your feelings aside and you have to let them go and do that. And then whenever they come back, you just have to make sure that they know they're still secure and loved. And it's an emotional thing for kids going back and forth. You know, there's the getting ready to go, there's going, and there's coming back because things are so much different here than they are there. And being the kid in that situation, you've got to live in both of those worlds. And so it can be confusing, it can be frustrating, it can be exciting, it can be all kinds of emotions. So I think that um, just knowing that it's different than we would like and happen to model that, making it seem normal. But it's tough. I've been there. I did that. Okay. I, it, that's one aspect of the relationship that Thomas has with everybody here that's just different. I mean, mm-hmm. all the other kids, I mean, they're basically here. I mean, they this is, this is home. This is what they know all the time. And Thomas does get to go back and forth. Do you think that that's... Uh, do you think that that's more beneficial for you? Do you think that's harder that the other kids don't get to do that? What do you think? Well, with the girls, it's like... I guess they're not as close. Like, they don't have that relationship. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's okay. I mean, that's part of part of what makes us us. Is this is this is the hand that we've been dealt, right? So we just go and deal with it as it comes. So what's the best part about being able to have those two different worlds? get to have fun and get to do uh, just like get to go on trips so there's some trips that you go on with us that like he just said you guys just got back from being at the river and that is something that um, you started last year. 
was the first year that well, he got to go. Yeah, last year was the first year that Thomas has gone. That's something yeah. that Nathan and my dad and I have done for 16 years yeah. now. So. so you got to go and you got to float the river with the guys of the Todd family. And then you got to go with us last year to the East Coast. And you'll go again this year to the East Coast. And that is something that is fun. What's one of the one of the things that is not so fun about going back and forth? Just like different rules. Different rules can be very frustrating. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. (laughs) So one thing about Thomas is Thomas's love language, just like Reagan, is physical touch, and he's got a he's got a sunburn (laughs) today. Uh, I've been giving him hugs, and Thomas is (laughs) one that was it last year that. Or the year before that Reagan had said she couldn't wait until Thomas came home from his summer vacation because she needed a hug and she hadn't had a hug in a while. No, that was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. Now I think she finds this all gross. Well, Reagan's love language is still physical touch. She still likes to have a hug. So it's interesting that that is mine. My love language is physical touch Give her Thomas's hug, Thomas. as well. Give her a hug, Thomas. And so is Reagan's. Give her a hug. No. You guys are so <laughs> sweet. Thomas has the curly hair like me. He's been trying to get either one of his sisters that have been going through cosmetology to give him a haircut. He has an older sister and an older brother at his dad's oh. house. So Let's talk a little bit more seriously about this last year for you, friend. You were in eighth grade. In eighth grade was the first year that you could be in FFA. And in FFA, you decided that you wanted to show a pig, right? So what was that yeah. like? Let's it was start a lot with of work and October. it stunk. It did stink. Oh my word, it did stink. So start in October. You went and you... I don't remember October. Picked a pig. And then we got to take it to the ag farm and we had to get up that big. Every single morning. Every morning. At first it was hard and then it was like clockwork. Yeah. What What did you learn throughout that whole experience? Responsibilities. Like what? Tell me a little bit more about that. Feeding and keeping another life alive. Yeah. Was it uh, was it beneficial? Yeah. Yeah. And you enjoyed it, right? Yeah. I'm sure baby's poop couldn't stink much more than that. Yeah. Uh, no, that was awful. There were some days showing up <laughs> over there. It was awful. And then, for whatever reason. Thomas and April thought it was a good idea to use the inside of April's car as a truck. That was her. So it smelled awful. Yeah. But it doesn't anymore. Not anymore. No, and so we made it through raising the pig, and you showed the pig at the local show and at County and at OYE. And then... I got third, fourth... In my class? Yeah, fourth at local, third at county, and then got sifted at OIE. But it was a good learning lesson. And in the end, we ended up having to slaughter, which was probably the worst part of it all, right? Now, you've had some feelings over the summer about whether you want to show again or not, and we've had some conversations about it, right? And part of it is learning that, you know, you don't throw away the whole thing because one part of it is unpleasant, right? So, what is your thoughts on 
this coming up here? Are you going to stay with a Berkshire or are you going to... Burke is probably the hardest one. They said Burke or Duroc is the hardest one. They're very stubborn. So yeah. what do you want to do? Do you want to stay with the same kind? Do you want to do something mm -hmm. different? Yeah. Do something different. Are you going to do a what cross do do? or a hamp? Maybe a cross. Maybe a hamp. Why a cross? I think the Yorkshires are cute. They're the little pink pigs. And you have to keep them... Do you put sunscreen on them to keep them from getting burned? What do you put on them? Yeah, sunscreen. But at shows, you put baby powder on them to make their skin white. Because the pink doesn't look very good. Yeah. I would never have known that. Interesting. The kid next to us at Loco Show had a bunch of it on his pig. Did he? And I think it can be it trouble, can be though. called cheating because yeah. he slapped his pig and a whole bunch of white dust just went everywhere. Oh yeah. Well, if we the don't judge want to cheat, if the right? judge does that, then you get thrown out. Yeah. He'll pick up your pig and just throw you out. Oh yeah, he'll pick up your pig. Yeah, he'll, he'll pick up your 300, 300 pound, pig pound pig and throw it out of the ring. Yeah. What is this WWE pig just show? By its, <laughs> just by its tail. Just <laughs> get that trash out of here. You know, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Just spear the pig. Oh my goodness. So. I think that was a Goldberg reference. Yeah, it could have been. Goldberg's the best, right? In fact, I guess there was some pay per view over the weekend and he lost to Undertaker. Really? Yeah, there was some review and talked like about the fact that the two, old. the two guys combined at 106 years old. So yeah, it was a little anticlimactic. But Thomas, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to be when you get out of school? I want to be like a mechanic, or like that guy that revved up his motorcycle by the river. <laughs> well, shoot your sights high. So what kind of mechanic? You want to do like a diesel mechanic or what? Diesel or auto. Yeah. That's cool. You've got some bloodline for that. you got some, some pretty talented mechanics around you. Racing mechanic. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. Well, probably ought to get involved with Papa then. He does a lot of that. Sadie's... Showing her displeasure with how long this is taking. Sadie's moody. She is. She hears us talking about her. Sadie, though, helped us with killing a snake the other day, didn't she? She stomped it. She did. She is the one that saw it in the yard and scared me to death, and that thing was fast. And so, then Thomas and Sadie killed it. So one and last Lauren. thing. Before we get going, before we go on, before we leave, we wrap this up. If you, Thomas, were able to give advice to any kid that lives in a blended family like this with step parents and all that, what advice would you give them? Listen. To what? everything well expand on that a little bit tell me explain to me what it is you mean to directions that's it yeah listen to directions yep not follow through with actions or <laughs> just hear them and and do them <laughs> do them yeah Have you had fun in the hot seat? Yeah. It was pretty fun. Was it? Yeah. But that doesn't sign me up for next time. I'm sure you'll do it again at some point. It'll be fun. You'll be the person on the YouTubes. Yeah, we're gonna Don't you put can put this, this you can put it right next to Fail Army. Don't put it on YouTube. You to bay. 
Reagan's is on YouTube. She's a YouTube superstar. I think she's had like three views. She's way up there with PewDiePie. With what? You wouldn't understand it. Wouldn't understand That must what? have been really funny because Reagan is like trying to not die laughing. What did, I didn't even hear what you said. I said she's way up there with PewDiePie. PewDiePie? PewDiePie. PewDiePie. What is that? It's different. <laughs> Tell us what it is. It's the person with the most views on uh, YouTube and the stupidest videos. Okay. Well, we're going to sign off for now, and I'm going to go look up PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Oh, Pie. excuse me. PewDiePie. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can figure out what that means, if I should be offended or not. So, We'll be back before too long. We're going to have Lauren in here and see what Lauren has to say about life in general and get her thoughts on things. And then, once Lauren's that? done... I said... That's what I did. Okay. I don't that's know what's what I, happening here. But I just did that. Once Lauren's done, we're going to take you guys on some adventures with us. Uh, you'll see us out and about a little bit more than just sitting around trying to get these kids to talk about something other than, you know, what they did on Instagram for the day. So uh, we look forward to that. And we'll let you guys see a little bit more about what it takes to make the blend happen. Any other announcements? I'll be 15 tomorrow. He'll be 15 tomorrow. Allison will be 20 on Tuesday. Huh? We did. We made our deadline. He set a deadline at the lake with Greg, and we said we wanted to get you on the show before you turn 15. Goal accomplished. Small steps. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. I'm Broken to Beautifully Blended. Have a good one.